Hi friends, Dr. Swami Venterpali from Attune Health. I'm uh, talking today a little bit about lupus and the onset of lupus. A recent study uh, published by some of our colleagues in the lupus field, specifically the senior author Karen Kossenbader, who I've known for a while, uh, published a study called the Nurses Study, where they've tracked 100,000 nurses for over 30 years, and having them fill out questionnaires, taking their blood, their health history, etc. Patients who reported stress, anxiety, and PTSD were at higher risk for an autoimmune disease like lupus. This study has been the best study so far that I've come across that really underscores this point. Now let's talk a little bit about PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Somebody's had trauma, their brain is having a hard time to get past that. It's constantly cycling through the traumatic episode, which then causes hormonal changes, specifically the neuroendocrine system, which includes the hypothalamus, the pituitary gland, and the adrenal gland, sending hormonal signals, including adrenaline, noradrenaline, and cortisol throughout the body to keep the cycle of stress and inflammation ongoing. The end results of having something like this could ostensibly result in an autoimmune disease. And that's what these researchers were trying to get at. They said that, okay, we all agree that PTSD is one of the most anxiety provoking episodes. So let's look at people who report that they've had PTSD and let's actually stratify them based on how many symptoms of PTSD that they're reporting. And then let's see over the next several years how many of them get an autoimmune disease, specifically in this case lupus. And what they found was that there was three times more patients who reported PTSD who went on to develop lupus compared to patients who did not report PTSD. That's pretty astonishing if you think about it. And I think it gives us a target for us to really think about what's the role of stress, anxiety, and in this case, specifically PTSD, in triggering these autoimmune diseases. In my experience too, over the last 20 years that I've been a rheumatologist, I've seen hundreds of lupus patients, RA patients. I try to get into some of their historical factors. When you start peeling the onion and get deeper into their story of their illness and how it started and what brought it on, I have found overwhelmingly that trauma is a big factor there. So in my own practice, this is something I'm aware of. This study, as I was looking over the literature, really caught my attention. It was the best study to date because the researchers had data over a long period of time. They had a hypothesis. They followed the hypothesis. Their data analysis was spectacular. They made sure autoimmune disease itself was not causing stress and PTSD in a patient. They identified that very carefully through using very sophisticated research methods. So I'm very confident about these findings. And I think that other studies done later will also replicate them. So the bottom line is that I think this is a big paper that I wanted to highlight to all of you. I think it's something we need to take seriously. I think we need to have conversations about it between ourselves as physicians, but also with our patients. Patients should be more open about sharing their stories with their healthcare providers and seek counseling and guidance because the dividends in terms of preventing an autoimmune disease may be phenomenal for them. Thank you for your attention.